Hey YouTube, Shukin Shinobi here with a review of the DX Tow Ride Vendor from Kamen Rider O's. Uh, not that you can see the title, but anyway, I'll get in a little bit closer for the box here. DX Tow Ride Bender. Uh, Taurus Cell Metals and Cheetah Cell Metals. Um, we've seen Taurus Cell already, but um, we'll take a look at Cheetah later on. Uh, Torican Droid being all dirt face, uh, the Tow Ride Vendor itself. Kamen Rider O's on the side, Transformation, two cell metals, Tatoba right here, and Ratorata right here, no, Toei, it's not Latoratar, learn to English. Uh, anyway, we've got Vending Machine Mode, uh, Toric Android, combined with Bike, equals Toe Ride Vendor, and OCCs can fit on it, uh, I don't own any OCCs. So I can't show that, but I will show it with, say, figure art, which is about in the same scale as OCC's. So uh, that's really about it for the box. We got the same nonsense up here and down here. It's all upside down face, but whatever. Get that out of the way and bring in Zabaiku. Do, 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 do. Alright, so here we have the deluxe, uh, I almost said tow ride vendor. No, this is just a normal ride vendor. Um, it will be the tow ride vendor later. Uh, detail wise, it's sculpted good. Uh, paint, on the other hand, is kind of, uh, chintzy. We've got the, uh, gold designs here, which is fine. Uh, looks really good from the front. Uh, looks phenomenal from the front, outside of that crack there. There you go. Um,. But, there, I mean, there's a lot of sculpted in detail here that you probably can't see. There we go. But, um, none of it's painted, so it's just kind of very bland. Uh, there are two noises in this mode, so if you flip the switch on, there's no sort of confirmation noise. Just deal with it. We've got... So, we've got axle driver noise. And some other noise from some bike toy that they've probably used couple times now. So those are the only two noises. It cycles back to axle driver noise. Um, I'll go ahead and show off the tow ride combination later because I want to transform it. So, um, and I'll show off the figure out riding it uh, at that point too. So to transform it, um, flip this down and then just split it apart. There is a split somewhere in there. There we go. Don't flip it down. That's bad. You want to open it. There we go. That's for later. Uh, the the seat folds down. So fold that down. And then these will tab in if the handlebars aren't in the way. There we go. So uh, the seat will act as a balancer. will stand for it. Because if you don't put it up, then it falls over. Unless you're very, very balanced. So that acts as a little seat. And plus it catches cell metals. So... Here we have the Ride Vendor in Vending Machine mode. Alright, so um, this plays a number of sounds, and uh, here's Fies. He's going to be my figure art dummy. So here's the scale for uh, the Ride Vendor compared to a figure art. It's, it's about right. Um, it, it's a little bit bigger than it should be. But um, scale-wise in Vending Machine mode, it, it really isn't too bad uh, compared to figure arts. So, um, we'll just set him aside for now. Uh, using the cell metals from my birth buster, we're going to go ahead and cycle through the noises. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that the uh, cells, they go in through that slot right here. And then they fall out the back and then roll away. So there's no catch, there's no container or anything of the sort. It just falls right out and rolls out onto the ground. So we inserted one, so let's hit the button. Chances are you'll hear that again. Uh, that was, I believe it's the noise that plays when, uh, like, Edgy gets, like, 12,000, like, taco cans for no reason. They just kind of pour out. Uh, so it's like the victory epic, you beat the final boss noise. Um, that's always a fun time. So let's put in more. Taka can.
taco can. Bata can. Unagi can. And Tora can, which we'll take a look at when we're done with this. Uh, and then it cycles back to Taka. And that little victory music thing will play randomly. Um, it doesn't really have any rhyme or reason to uh, when it plays. Um, and you can just hit it with your finger. So you don't actually need cell metals. Uh, it just adds a little bit of fun to it. So that's really all for vending machine mode. I mean, if you wanted to, you could turn it over on its side and then plop uh, an OCC on it and pretend he's trying to ride the vending machine. But, um, again, really, that's about it for this mode. Uh, it's actually my favorite of the modes just because it's so awesome to own a vending machine. I don't know why, but whatever. So to transform it back, just flip the seat up, flip that around and around. Everything will plug into place, and we are back to motorcycle mode. All right, so uh, we'll take a look at the Torah Android next. Um, it is very weird. It, it's very uncan like It's got this big tumor on it. Um, it doesn't really look like a can at all. But uh, the Torah symbol is nice. It does say Torah with the gibberish and all of that. Uh, so it, it fits in with the other Candroids. It's just very stale um, in the looks department. But uh, you flip the tab. You don't really need to. It doesn't do anything in this toy. It's just a tab. Um, flip this out to about here. I'll fix it later. Flip his feet out. Bring that all the way up. And then flip his little head out. And make sure he's not sad face. Make sure he's normal face. And we've got the Torah Android. All he does is sit there and look adorable. Really, that's that's all there is to it. Nothing spectacular. He's just a little Torah Android going, Torah, Torah. Torah, 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 the Android. That was dumb. So, anyway, um, that's really all this thing does. So, uh, we'll set him aside because he's ready to transform into the tow ride vendor. So, um, basically, that consists of splitting this part open and then splitting it right down the middle here, these pieces. They will flip over and connect to the back wheel to make a sort of tricycle without the front wheel. So those tab right in there, so just like that. And obviously it's missing a front wheel, so that's where the Torah Android comes in. Fold his uh, a leg back, and then fold this forward a little bit. Fold the legs back, and um, these will tab. There's room to you too. There's tabs right here and uh, tabs right there. So tab that together, and that'll just sort of fit in place. And then flip this up until it clicks. Once you hear that, you know it's in. And then flip these out. These are the little claws. And uh, there we go. We've got the tow ride vendor, complete with some new so new so blue blue blue, new sounds. Roar. So now we're Axel Trial. So I don't know what happened there. Um, and then you can fit cell metals into these slots on his legs. And then he goes. And then fires them. So that's always that's always a happy fun time. So uh, scale with the figure arts. Uh, they fit nice on here. Fies can grip the, uh, grip the handlebar decently. And be all like charge and stuff his head's chopped off but there we go so as you can see he's obnoxiously large for the bike it's kind of more like a four-wheeler or even bigger than a four-wheeler so it's obnoxiously large but it actually looks kind of cool um despite the size fail here um it does look pretty neat on the bike uh so he can actually 
go a little bit more back if he wants to. Uh, so take that as you will. Uh, like I said, it's not exactly in scale. It's a little bit big, but um, it at least it looks pretty neat. So as I said before, it comes with the Tora cell metal that also comes in the Metal Jaliber and the Candy Toy Set 1. And then the Cheetah Cell Metal, which is absolutely new. Uh, both of these are deluxe with the X's on the back. So let's go ahead and do those. So there you go. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lion, so we can't do Rotwar Tagin. But um, close enough. So to transform this back, just undo that, pull that out, flip that. Now you're back to a can. Flip this forward. Flip this forward. And now you're back to the ride vendor. So, um, is it worth it? If you can get it fairly cheap, like Ami Ami price, then I would say, yeah, it, it is worth it. Um, I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did, but just playing with the vending machine mode is really cool. Plus, you get another can droid, as lame as he is. Um, I love Candroids, so that's always plus. And you get two cell medals. So, for what you get, it's definitely worth the price. Um, but if you, I mean, if you're primarily a figure arts collector, I'd wait for the inevitable figure arts ride vendor. Um, which probably won't transform, given that it's a figure art. But, um, you will see. There's a hair in the bike. Whatever. Um, so it, it was worth it, but not completely worth it. If you're a diehard Candroid fan... I would say get it just to get the Torek Android. Um, if you collect medals, again, it's worth it for the medals. Plus, you get a cool bike, and uh, it's really fun to set up the vending machine next to Candroids or next to Figure Arts. So, uh, there's multiple different things you can do with it. So, in that in that aspect, I do think it's worth it. Um, but as long as you can get it for a fairly decent price, like um, Ami Ami or something, it took me like six restocks to finally get one from Ami Ami. But anyway. Um, you can check out my personal blog at shukanshobi.wordpress.com and you can check out a written review of the Toe Ride Vendor as well as the Epic Podcast on the Epic site at risersandrumbles.com. So take care and have a great one. Bye.